<laughs> sausages. <laughs> right, let's get this party started. So, Peter. Yes. <laughs> no, I wasn't Nigel. joking. I can't call you Peter. <laughs> You know, my mom called me Peter. So, P, um, can you tell the people watching what you do for a business? Yes, I am uh, the person who founded Carrot Cruncher Media, and we make podcasts for our clients that can become their most powerful marketing tool. Um, that's essentially what it is when you when you when you cut it down and give it its uh, elevator pitch or whatever you call it nowadays. Yeah, I've I've got uh, I've been I've been working in podcasts and audio for a long time, like a long time now. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I I did uh, radio for twenty odd years, and then um, I I I left radio, and you know I know that a lot of your guys in in your uh, your um, uh, community are kind of like ex corporate people, and I class what I did with radio as corporate, so I'm also ex corporate, um, and uh, and what we used to do with uh, radio stations. Um, we now do for small business owners a lot of the time. Fantastic. So, yeah. so what 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 uh, what radio stations were you on? Uh, I was all over the place in the uh, in the Midlands. I did uh, most recently Capital uh, for about oh. seven or eight years. Wow. Uh, so yeah, presented breakfast. Um, the show was called Dino and Pete, and I was the Pete part. Um, and yeah, all of that came to an end about three years ago, which is, oh, when, wow. I, which is when I had a little panic, Nigel, and I went, oh no, <laughs> what should I do now? Yeah, because oh. I was going to say, what, what I was gonna, cause my next question was actually going to be, what, what, um, what, what, you know, what inspired you to do? I mean, why, why podcasts? Yeah, I love podcasts. Um, during during radio, you know, during twenty odd years in radio, it was about 23, 24 years, uh, and the the beginning of it, I loved it. I loved it. I was a young guy. I got into it. It just the opportunities and just having a laugh and getting paid for it. It was like, hang on, where's the uh, where's the catch? <laughs> but then. It's time went on like the radio stations became much more corporate in the mm. way that they do things so you know obviously uh, capital's a station that's this it's a great station it's aimed at 18 to 25 year olds yeah. as you can see i'm a little older than 25 now so um. i'm a guy here. <laughs> so you know it's, it's only ever going to end one way you get older the yeah. radio station was getting younger yeah and you know when when i'm i was in my early 40s mid 40s when i was on capital aimed at 18 25 year olds you've got to um, obviously relate to your uh, to your target market yeah yeah um, so a lot of the material like you know I'd, I'd like to let's say go to a garden center at the weekend and <laughs> take to the cafe you know I couldn't talk about that kind of stuff I couldn't you know because because obviously my audience didn't do that and then the other thing I you know let's say I'm into I'm a 1980s computer game geek I love yeah. ret retro yeah. gaming yeah defender so, Exact defender, defender. Um, there's, you know, I couldn't talk about that kind of stuff because my audience weren't even born in the 1980s. Yeah, of course, of so course. So obviously, it was only going to end one way. So eventually, I came out of that. And with the podcast that we do, I can be much more authentic, which mm -hmm. is which is what it's about. Yeah. And I've also got a lot of experience in, um, in obviously with the radio station it became more corporate so you're building the radio station's brand and you're building the brand of um the radio station's clients yeah um so i just thought you know what i'm really good at doing that stuff and i'd rather do it for rather than big corporations uh, rather than you know talking about vodafone's latest offers or uh, coca-cola christmas stuff or whatever <laughs> yeah i'd i'd i can c word the, exactly oh, don't talk about that not now <laughs> not for months um but i'd rather um i'd rather help uh, use those skills and and promote small business and and people on a one-to-one -one level um you're appreciated more by them which is nice yeah. and you know you see a bigger payoff as well so that's why i decided to do to do podcasts and use podcasts because audio is the the thing that i'm i'm great at and uh, and and use that to promote and and help small businesses Fantastic. Well, your setup's amazing. I mean, your sound quality, it's like, it's like you're in the room. It's like, okay. <laughs> well, I, I am in the room. I mean, not that room, admittedly, because I'm, I'm in this room. <laughs> oh, we've, we've had a few people. Do. Hey, Natasha Gordon, thank you for joining us. Hey, Silvana, nice to uh, see you there. Silvana lives in uh, Marbella. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So while we're sat here shivering, she's like, t-shirt enjoying the sun oh, right. no, it's, all, it's all right for some of us isn't it, it is. Do you know, all i hear when when there's somebody listening in a beautiful place is i'm just thinking free holiday come on yeah, well well let's, let's go over let's she go is she, she is supposed to be organizing some kind of retreat um for uh, one of my networking buddies so uh nice. I, I, I 
Pete, I'll keep him the loop. Hello, Anna. Hi. <laughs> Anna's joined us. Hello. Oh, she's called us her two faves. Thank you, Anna. That's amazing. Oh, That's beautiful. Stop it. Stop she's, it. She's, uh, she's dipping in. <laughs> Is she? Uh, she uh, yeah, she's got a call at quarter past 11. So, uh, oh, okay. She's okay, very, Anna, busy. Thank, very busy. Very busy. Thank, thank you for joining us. Sylvana's smiling. <laughs> right. Um, so, the business, uh, helping people with their podcasts and helping them to grow their podcasts and to be podcast um podcast-esque you know on, on a level <laughs> yes. tell us about some of the challenges you've had to overcome with the business itself clients and so on and so forth yeah i think initially um it's quite young still we're about two and a half years old and initially um my way i was like i'm an expert in audio i know what to do with audio that's great uh, how do i monetize this so initially uh we launched um it was a slightly different um different sort of path that i went down and the monetization method that i was going with was we'd create some really great shows which we did and we still have got yeah um, and then we'll put advertisers on them right um and that to be fair all of a sudden when you start doing that advertisers start wanting you to do things slightly differently so they're kind of twisting your brand a little bit and you know you've got to be careful what you say and there's that whole angle. So um, I decided to move a little bit away from that, if I'm honest, uh, and move away from advertisers and um, just offer my my production services. So I went from almost like an advertising agency to a guy who makes stuff for people, which I much prefer because it's the creative element that I love. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So we had a, a, a well. We still do have a, a running podcast, which is. I'm not a running guy. I'm not a running guy, no, Joe, But I do. <laughs> Don't tell me you're fit as well. No, I'm not. I don't, I'm not a running guy. But I know a running guy, and I know a guy who's really good as a as a host as well. So we set up a podcast, and we did that, and we've had uh, lots of um, lots of sponsorship deals with people and, and running brands and such like. And oh, that's fantastic. a great thing about podcasts, you see, because you, you know it's a very niche. It's a very niche audience. So basically, people who are listening to that show are runners and they're recreational runners they're into running and they want to uh, perform better and all that kind of stuff so you know who's that going to appeal to well not like a local butchers just over there but it will appeal to you know some some really big international running brands um so people who make running trainers etc uh, etc et yeah so yeah. it's it's about marrying up that that um that uh that that um advertiser with the appropriate podcast yeah, yeah. And i suppose your 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 because you, your initial background starting in that world it's a it kind of that allowed you to kind of segment and say ah oh, this is some additional service i can offer people because i've already got the experience of of doing it myself anyway yeah yeah absolutely so you know the 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 challenge that we overcame really was to go actually that's you know that's not really my main um aim yeah. um is to please advertisers my main yeah. aim is to please people and help people to create podcasts and help people to um it i mean it's dead easy nigel anybody can do a podcast and i've said this all you need is a phone uh, and you can do it for free you can record it into your phone and you can hit go and it's out to the world yeah. are people going to listen i don't know they might do they might, they, might, they, might, they, might, they might not i don't know but in reality if that's if you've recorded it on your phone just like that and then you yeah. bring it out to the world is it the best it's going to be is it is it is it um appropriate to be representing your brand in that yeah. way yeah you know yeah. depending on who you are depending yeah. on what your brand is if you're yeah. um you know i've got the uh, one of the one one of one of the brands that we that we uh, take care of and that i make podcasts for are a group of solicitors you know uh -oh. would they would they i know exactly would they want you know and they are obviously credible and authoritative by their nature they've got to be haven't yeah. they and yeah, their clients have got to trust them um are you gonna get a great deal of business from hit and go on that and then going like that and it going out and the sound quality being rubbish and it not yeah being it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna, yeah it's gonna yeah. be a nice sounding product you know there's yeah, yeah there's there are many more podcasts now than that, that ever have been so yeah. it's just about standing out and there are you know out of the hundreds of thousands of millions of podcasts that there are yeah there's a there's a high percentage of that that aren't very good yeah but there are um you know there are big companies into this the bbc are making podcasts yeah of course absolutely you know the, yeah. the, the, there's 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 a, a, you know many 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 very professional sounding podcasts out there so it's about standing up and sounding as, as good as the big guys yeah yeah fantastic we're gonna go and check these comments again um hey alison thanks for joining us um oh 
Anna wants to join us on our retreat in Marbella with Sylvana. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have a holiday. Well, I'll tell you, I'm maybe I should kind of figure out some kind of charging for this. Eh? <laughs> the facilitator. <laughs> well, you're, the, you're the sales guy. You work it out. <laughs> Right, and Anna, Anna's just cursing me now. Uh, tell Nigel to sort out coming on my podcast soon. We're yeah. rubbish at sorting that. Anna, I promise you, uh, I have one thing to complete this week, and then I will be getting a date uh, on your podcast. Fantastic! You so. Quick, uh, quick <laughs> promo for Anna's podcast. It's called Marketing Made Easy. It's all about marketing. You'd be brilliant on it, Nigel. And oh. what's more, I'd uh, I'd edit you as well. Oh, make you, sound, make you sound even better. Could 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 you make my my brummy accent sound stronger? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. Make me probably, sound more eloquent. Pro- probably not. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, remember, uh, Pete is offering a free Grow Your Show session. Um, listen, I've had a meeting with this guy um, because I'm, yeah, I'm kind of thinking about doing a podcast in the future. I don't want to say too much right now. Oh, you'll be good. You'll be good. You'll be but good. He blew my mind. Um, and one of the things which I really liked was that he pretty much takes care of the marketing as well as part of the whole thing, which is like, oh, something I've not got to worry about. Um, but I'll let him tell you about that when you connect with him later on. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's see what I did there. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, another uh, Anna says Pete is an awesome producer. You're making me late for this meeting. Be late. Just tell them you were busy. You're tuning Just... into a show. Tell them to tune in. They'll understand why then. They'll get um, it. They'll get it, Anna. It's fine. Pete, it's my favourite question, actually. This is. Uh, tell us one thing about you that not many people know about. Oh, God. <laughs> I have a strange limp. Oh. And it's because of an issue with my knee. And the reason I've got an issue with my knee is because when I was 22 years old and stupid, I became involved in a bet, which meant that I was fired out of a cannon at a stunt <laughs> show. And I'm not, even jo- I'm not even joking. I've got the, I've got the video. No, just, I've got the video to prove it. <laughs> oh, a, man. Was, listen, cannonball, a, cannonball Pete. That's your new name. Yeah, I was the human cannonball. And... Um, yeah, it really, really hurt. Don't do it. Don't if you're 22 and stupid, doesn't matter. Don't do it. So hold on a minute. They fired you out of a cannonball. I'm assuming that you were fired into something soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fired into a net. But what happens is you're told to go into a very eloquent forward roll um by doing something with your body. But I'll be honest, right? When they're counting down from 10 and everyone's counting down and you're in the bottom of the cannon. Um, the last thing you're thinking about is how you're going to land. You're just having a complete panic. What, so, was it, what was it like? I mean, what was the kind of feeling like? I mean, are we talking about the worst fairground ride ever? It was, or, I mean... it was bloody awful, Nigel. <laughs> it was bloody awful. It was, <laughs> you lowered into a cat, you lowered into a cannon. There's a massive bucket that's probably about six feet high at the bottom of the cannon. And then what happens is the, um, the, the bucket, uh, they let the, they press go they let go of the bucket, which is held back by some elastic bands. Uh, the bucket goes to the end of the cannon and, and stops. And then I continue to go and land in a net. But what happened is I came out and rather than going into that eloquent and beautiful forward roll, I, uh, I had a little bit of a panic and came out much like a rag doll. <laughs> there were, seriously, there were arms and legs everywhere. I looked like a spider. And then I landed very badly on a knee, and that was that. Was that. Oh, no. Yeah. I've got funny, so I've got a funny so, uh, Did you have to sign the disclaimer first before you went in that cannon? I don't remember so, no. I, I ah, just, it was a where there's blame as a claim, young man. Oh, there, is, there, <laughs> there will be somewhere there in the is. UK, right, there's someone tuning in, listening to this, and thinking, ah, I can make this man some money. Possibly, <laughs> possibly so. <laughs> oh, Pete, man, I'll tell you what, I'll never look at you again in the same way. No, Cannon no, no, ball, you never will. Ball, yeah. too. Um, brilliant. Guys, have any of you been fired out of a cannonball? Uh, Natasha Gordon says, ouch. <laughs> Indeed, I think that was I think that was one of the words he used. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. Um, okay, so uh, if somebody wanted to start a business right now, not necessarily a podcast, but a business, what advice would you give them? What three bits of advice would you share with them? Oh God, you see, I'm a podcast guy. I'm not a business guy, but I guess um, and think and relating this back to podcasts actually, and because it's all it's all as one. You have to identify your target audience, so you have to identify 
uh, who or what your um, products and services are going going to and who your ideal audience is and then um i think that's one bit of advice and then mm -hmm. the second bit of advice would be work out where they're hanging out hang out in the same place connect with them and um and just be a human being yes uh, and, and rather than and i think your i think your community is brilliant for this i think uh, quite often um networking and um, <coughs> events and business people can be really quite scary yeah um because they've, they've got this faceless idea of you know people in suits and all the rest of it and i think you're breaking those stereotypes and making it so much more accessible and so much more human you bring the human element in and it's and, about uh, humans it's all it's, about humans man it's, it's human. about humans you know as a salesperson people buy people and that's what it's about isn't it so be a human um and uh, be the brand be a human and uh, yeah is that three Bits of advice. I think that was, think that was two and a half, actually. Was that two and a half? Oh, <laughs> no. Throw oh, one no. more in, mate. One more. And <laughs> one more um, for the road. <laughs> and, and as well, uh, you can have the best product or service in the world, but if you're not telling people about it, it doesn't count for anything. Yeah. So make sure that you market yourself. Make sure you market yourself well. However, you're marketing mm. yourself, yeah. make sure you do it well. I've had the same conversation with someone this morning, but yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that after the show. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, is there anything that we can do to support you right now as a, as a community? Um, you could buy me a beer, Nigel. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> sir. I tell you what, you're, 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 over, you're over in Leicester, aren't you? Uh, Derby. We're in Derby. Derby. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's Anna who's in Leicester. That's right. I, I, yeah. think, I think a, a train trip is in order. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, yeah. And and you, you can choose the location. Mm. And uh, let's get let's get this party started. Well, you're in Birmingham, so we'll meet somewhere in between. We'll meet in Burton or somewhere. I was saying, in between no Dar in between no. Derby and Burgers, bloody villages, isn't there? Yeah, there's villages. <laughs> there's villages. Yeah, that's pretty legit, really. Yeah. <laughs> we don't do cocktails down here, man. Uh, right. And on that note, listen, we're gonna go, guys. As you can tell, me, me and Pete, we're like we're like two peas in the pub. We was talking. In fact, I forgot, I forgot it was live for a minute. I know. So um, did I. <laughs> <laughs> we're just organising beers here. Remember, hashtag replay sausages. Get your growing short session. <laughs> I'll see you all later, guys. Pete, don't go anywhere. We'll have a debrief. Bye for now.